uh, you may ask you may ask yourself uh, where that come from I mean I'm not saying here that you I, I'm going I'm, I'm giving you an explanation even though uh, machine learning uh, has this idea that it should be inspired by the brain uh, there, there is no way to know for sure uh, uh, you don't have a way for sure to explain how uh, does mod work but one way to see it is very is, is somehow very simple uh, imagine the situation that he imagine the situation that he, uh, we as, as a species uh, the whole species the whole uh, lives in the, in the plant they they came as by all teachers they came from the same point so as as evolution went on according to, to the, the Darwin theory it was able to to to, to change between species so it seems that at some point uh, we and the dog we have the same uh, uh, the same beginning at some point of this evolution tree uh, we as in primate uh, gorilla and so on we are closer then you are closer from a dog or for a cat but you still share some kind of DNA some kind of uh, appears for example the surgery for the heart that you would do in human was developed in dog so the test the surgery most of the initial uh, simulation initial uh, uh, studies for 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 make heart surgery uh, they did on dog most of the medication so on they're testing in rats so the testing in, in monkeys gorilla and so on they, 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 they make try to human so that that's because you have a lot in common that is similar in your brain in, in our brain have a similar mechanism for example uh, the amygdala is a very small part of your brain it's very primitive in your brain so since it's a very primitive uh, the same fear that the, the cat has if you go to a cat and you, you never saw the cat before the cat will be scared then you go and run away even though you want to help it yes but you want to help the dog you want to help the cat the cat still going to run away because it has a kind of instinct to survive we, we, we also have this thing to survive it's called the middle it's called the fight or flight response uh it's, it's more or less the same kind of mechanism uh, in the case of a human, we are, uh, we are able to retrain our brain, not, no, not to take serious. For example, you are in the army, uh, you may want to train your brain not to be afraid on the certain, certain, certain situations, the human will be normally afraid. So, uh, it, so, we think that the transfer learning, it happened in our brain the same way. Uh, somehow the uh, biology, because uh, part of our, our brain is, is, is wired. Wired means that it's, it's not... I think in, I'm not sure about the number, but most of our brain is not uh, teachable. It's like a, uh, it's, they call the brain it's one in layer. The name deep learning has more to do with that because our brain is done in layers. The lower layers of your brain, if you, if you take the image of your of your brain, you have the the outer part which is called cortex, which is a very flexible in learning part. But then you have the the inner layers. These inner layers they are more they are rigid. They are rigid, such as you have the part that responds for the walking, part responsible for breathing, part responsible for heartbeat, and so on. All of this is somehow uh, wired. However, uh, we still have a, 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 in, in our part the cortex that's able to learn. The same part can teach the inner part if you make the proper training, such as you, you're supposed to control your fear uh, because you need to be in a certain situation, such as in the army. Uh, or you need to make sure that you are not, you know, you know, you not panic because you are maybe helping people, so you should not to panic. So you can teach your brain not to be afraid. That's a way. That's a way to see transfer learning. So you have the the the, the part of your, of your of, of your brain that is most of the part of it that is wired, is frozen. Then you have the outer part that is able to learn. So that I'm I'm not claiming that the explanation for the plan, but that's how you can see it. Uh, for example, we can share between humans. Uh, similar uh, fears was in fear of, fi of, fly of, of fire you can have a response to beat uh, every human responding almost equally to, to to music beat so uh, that's a kind of way to see transplant so it can be seen as a kind of evolution but please keep in mind that's not a, uh, that's not I'm not saying that deep learning as it is what I teach here is the explanation for the brain. Neuroscience and machine learning, they became two different uh, uh, matter, two different disciplines, because even though artificial neural network is inspired by the brain, it does not always 
for the brand, such as support a vector machine has nothing to do with it. It's a learning machine, but it has nothing to do with machine. In the case of deep learning, even though you can compare with how deep your brain is, the layers of your brain, it's still not very worried about that. But the, the idea is more, more or less the same. You have a frozen part of your of your of your model which is borrowed from another another model then you use the, you you use a uh, outer part which can call the cortex if you want to make analogy that is able to learn 